Well, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, for us here in the States, it's uh, our Memorial Day weekend, which is the kickoff to summer. And uh, uh, kind of an appropriate time for me to uh, give a quick update as to where I'm at right now. This is the fun part of the program, the project, where I start to get everything to fit into the prop so that when it's done, it looks as if it came from Bethesda and runs the code that I got from R. Warren without any external additions that uh, are really noticeable. There may be switch functions that do something a little different than what they did on the Bethesda prop. I can't answer for that because I've never had a functioning Bethesda prop and I've never played um, Fallout 4, so I don't know how the Pit boy 3000 uh, buttons all behave. Uh, I just like the tech. Uh, I, I don't really play computer games. But anyways, um, uh, one of the things that I had to uh, come to the realization is this stuff's not going to fit in the present footprint. So I had to go in and hog quite a bit of material out here. And it's not going to be a big deal because the, the, the foam goes inside here and I will be putting a plastic uh, shield once everything's done and I'll be bolting the Velcro uh, as opposed to having it loop through the holes that were originally here. I needed the space here just to get everything to fit. So I'm not too uh, concerned about that and I think actually I got the wrong way. Yeah, it goes this way. Um, I'm not too concerned about uh, what sticks up in here because like I said it's going to be uh, protected by a piece of plastic and my wrist is pretty small so uh, I'm not going to worry and I think the second prop that I'm going to do will, will only benefit from things that I'm picking up right now on this. Uh, what I wanted to kind of show here was what I had to do up here where the holocaust goes, so I think that's what it's called. Um, this button here was originally a single action and I had to make it a, a dual action because that's where my up and down buttons are going to go. This button is not going to be the actual power on. It's going to be my shutdown. The power on will be hidden somewhere in the prop uh, or maybe uh, exploited someplace else. But to, for right now, that's going to be power down and this is going to be scroll up and down. So what I did was I took the original switch, took the button off, kept the traces, but added a center common and cut the copper that bridged uh, the traces together so they were independent. So now I've got two switches with the common which would give me up and down. And um, on the button itself, I cut the original center post and putting these uh, exterior, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, I guess, ex uh, 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 ex well, these two additional posts to handle the push buttons. So let's, uh, I guess it would might uh, benefit me if I wrote a script, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So let's uh, get these in here. There we go. Now, one thing I've got to I've got to make sure I point out is anytime you're dealing with um, a screw, especially in plastic, you want to rotate backwards so you can find where the original um, thread is so that you don't end up creating new threads in plastic and just weakening it. So um, rotate backwards, find out where the screw drops down, that'll tell you where the thread starts, and uh, move forward from there. Nice. Oh 
always be very careful how much you torque these screws down. Don't go too crazy. And so now, two independent switches from where there was originally one. Um, so that uh, turned out really nice. So I'm really excited about how this uh, prop is going together and we'll start putting it together so I can start to laying these parts in. Not, not sure what I'm going to do with this uh, control over here. I don't think I need it in the code so I may use this uh, for something else. Maybe the on off uh, and volume control for the Geiger counter. Uh, as I said I'm going to try to put a functioning Geiger counter in here. I've got a tiny meter movement uh, that I hope will fit in there otherwise I'll, um, uh, because it is not going to be the same layout I'm going to move the needle out and, and mount it so it'll work within the window. Um, we'll have to just see how that turns out but uh, yeah this is a fun part of the program. Uh, I'm going to use the original speaker with the uh, amplifier that I had to add. A lot of what I'm adding was stuff that was on the dedicated motherboard that we can't extract the code off of, so it's basically just uh, junk. Uh, so, uh, gotta make all this other stuff fit. Anyways, hang in there, uh, and I hope uh, everybody has a wonderful weekend, and uh, stay safe. Bye!